What's up guys, Seattle Gamer here, back with another Saturday morning bonus video. Now, on my channel, I don't usually like to talk about money or earnings or any of that kind of stuff. However, a few days ago, YouTube just came out with a new ad-free subscription-based program. So I wanted to talk first off about the current monetization pro uh, plan that we have in stock or that we have in place. Uh, second, I wanna talk a little bit about ad block. Y'all know that that was gonna come. And then third, I wanna talk about the terms and how the new ad-free subscription-based program works. This isn't a video, you know, that YouTube says to put out. I just wanted to give you guys my thoughts on it. Um, some things that I am looking forward to, maybe a few things that I'm not, and we'll just have to kind of wait and see. So. The way the current YouTube monetization works, for all of you people who don't know, uh, if you have YouTube videos up and you run ads on them, you get ad revenue on those. Now, me personally, I don't make very much. I have a very small channel. Um, I'm just gonna be upfront with you guys. You know, it, this isn't my full-time job. That's what I'm gonna say. You know, I don't really make anything. Anything that I will make in the future will go towards the channel. Um, I know I've put a lot of my own money into this just um, getting equipment and software and games and all sorts of stuff. Um, so if I could even break even with what I put into it, I'd be happy. But that being said, we do get paid a little bit. And how it works is when you upload a video, you get to choose what type of ads you put on it. Now you, there's the ones at the little, let's see, bottom part right here or so, right? Um, those ones don't net you very much because people can just click out of them. There's the ones at the beginning or in the middle or the end, wherever you want to put them, that have like the little skip button right here, right? That you can skip them. And then there's the unskippable, really long, like 30 second ads. Those all give you different amounts of CPM, which stands for cost per mill. In layman terms, that means how much you're getting paid per 1,000 views. Now, um, Let's say your CPM is $10. So I'm not allowed to tell you what my CPM is. So let's just say it's $10. So you get $10 per thousand views. Um, that means that if you get 100 views, you'll get one $1. So you need a hundred, if you get 100 monetized views, you'll get $1 out of it with the $10 CPM. Now, the key word I said there was monetized views not just any views, because there's some views that aren't monetized. For instance, if you click the little little you know, skip thing on the bottom right of your screen, that is no longer monetized. Even if you watch almost the entire thing and the last second you click skip, that person doesn't get paid for that ad. So if you ever click skip, it doesn't get monetized. And then the other big one, there's a, there's a few more, but the other big one, is ad block now if you're running ad block on your computer and you're watching youtube videos or at websites or whatever then those aren't monetized views either so just to kind of give you numbers from my channel i have 17.6 percent of my views are monetized so that's that's pretty low i i'd be curious to see what other people have um, so that means that people either didn't watch ads, ad blocked them, skipped them, all of that. So that's not necessarily ad block too. It could be a whole bunch of things. Um, depending on what platform you're on, I think mobile sometimes is or isn't um, monetized, different countries, all that kind of stuff. But nonetheless, like I said, I, this isn't my job. So I don't really care. But if you do run ad block, um, there's a few things about that. First off, it can be really great. I mean, people hate ads, it, it keeps you from having to, to watch the ads, it can protect your computer. Sometimes people put like viruses and Trojans and all sorts of nasty stuff in the ads, um, which isn't good. So if you're on that shady part of the internet, then ad block is a godsend because it, it protects your computer one step further than something like a, a firewall or something. Um, but all I want to say is if you like a content creator and you run ad block, think about unblocking their channel from your ad block um, just to try and support them because it costs money to do videos. I don't like to really talk about this much, but you got to get gear, uh, program software, uh, if you're doing gaming stuff, games, if you're doing makeup tutorials, you have to buy makeup, all sorts of stuff. Um, when you're 
uploading and rendering and all of that. It takes electricity and it takes internet and all sorts of stuff. So it's, it's it may be free, you know, free stuff on YouTube for everyone to enjoy, uh, but for content creators, it's not. Um, I mean, it, it doesn't cost that much. I mean, software and stuff is probably your your biggest biggest cost. Also, hardware, um, mics, equipment, video stuff, all of that. Um, so you know, so it. All I'm saying is, if if you like a YouTuber, think about maybe unblocking them. You don't have to get rid of ad block or anything, but if you like their stuff, you know, it, it helps out a little bit. Now, that being said, let's talk a little bit about the new ad-free subscription program. So what this does is it's a monthly fee to remove all of YouTube ads. I'm not quite sure when this is gonna drop. They haven't given it an exact date yet, but to me, it kind of reminds me a little bit of like Netflix or something. So Netflix, you pay, I think it's like eight, eight, nine bucks a month. And um, and then you get to watch whatever shows you want. So, so, you know, there's no ads or anything on Netflix. You pay to watch the shows and to get no ads, unlike Hulu where you still have ads. I, I never understood that. But, um, so that, I'm gonna kind of compare it a little bit to Netflix because I think what, what Google and YouTube are trying to do is diversify their funds and try and capture a little bit more of the market that they're not getting ad revenue from. I know if you look at the CPMs from a few years ago, they're a lot higher than now. YouTubers aren't getting paid as much per per views. That might be because of, you know, flooding the market and all sorts of stuff with um, new people coming in and all that kind of stuff, which is fine. I mean, we don't want to discourage people from starting this up because it's a lot of fun. You know, this is a great hobby and everything. But I wanted to read you one thing about the subscription revenue here that uh, that YouTube sent us all. So I'm going to read it first as it's written and then kind of describe what it actually means. So here we go. <sighs> Subscription revenues. YouTube will pay you 55% of the total net revenues recognized by YouTube from subscription fees that are attrib uh, attributable to the monthly views or watch time of your channel as a percentage of the monthly views or watch time of all or a subset of participating content in the relevant subscription offering as determined by YouTube. If your content is included in and viewed by a user in multiple subscription offerings, YouTube will pay you based on the subscription offering with the highest amount of net revenues recognized by YouTube as calculated by YouTube. So what that means is that, first off, the first part, subscription revenues, YouTube will pay you 55% of the net revenues recognized by YouTube. That portion means that I, okay, I'm, I'm putting a big assumption here that this will be somewhere between like five, eight, you know, ten bucks a month or something. So I, I'm just thinking it's probably like like Netflix is like eight or nine. So let's just say ten to make the math easier. So you pay ten dollars a month to get rid of ads on YouTube. Now YouTube takes forty five percent of that. So the content creators get five dollars and fifty cents of that. Now the next part in there says. Uh, your watch time of your content as a percentage of the monthly views of the person. What that tells me is that if you watch my channel 100% of the time on, on your thing, then I'll get all $5.50 of that left over. If you watch another channel, let's say you watch uh, PewDiePie or Markiplier or something 90% of the time, I'll get 55 cents of that and they get uh, four dollars and ninety-five cents. So if you watch, uh, if you wa usually you watch my content all the time, but you just found out about Northern Lion and binge binge watched all of his videos, which you know I I think you should do because he has great stuff, then I'll get paid. I don't know two cents of that or or whatever that percentage would be. So that it and before what it were what it was like is we all kind of competed for views, and then using those views and this amount of ad revenue YouTube got, that we would get a portion of that by view, 
and that ad revenue was the limiting factor. However much they got from ad revenue was the limiting factor. Now the limiting factor is how many people have subscriptions. So the the pool of money is a lot smaller, so we're fighting for, for a lot smaller of a section, uh, a little bit of money. Now, um, I'm going to I'm gonna say a few things I think this could be good. Uh, first off, if you don't get paid a lot, let's say you get a dollar or two a month, which is pretty average for a, a, a new, you know, so a new content creator. Uh, first off, you need $100 to get a payout. So that's like 100 months you'll have to do it or eight years or so. So let's say you get a dollar or two a month, but one of your subscribers watches all of your content and does this. Now you just got a whole lot more than what you were getting. So that could be good. It could be good. Now, um, and, and that depends on how many people do that. So there could be this huge rise, you know, um, it was like, oh, you watch all of, all of, um, I don't know, what's a smaller channel, uh, Egg Scrambled Gamers content, right? Um, and two of his people have this and only watch his content. He's getting like 11 bucks a month. So that's probably, I don't know what he makes, but um, now this also might bring in revenue from people who originally had ad block. Uh, we'll talk about that down below a little bit, but I don't really see that happening. Ad block is a free program. So if you already have it, why pay the subscription cost? You already have what this subscription does for free. So I don't see that unless they add something in there like, um, you can only get 1080p videos or, or some something like that. If they limit it, then maybe. But right, as it stands right now, AdBlock is free, so there's no reason that you would you would adhere to this program. Um, the third good thing is it, diver it diversifies the earnings a little bit. So right now everything's ad based. If for some reason that all goes down the shitter, then everyone's screwed. If you do this for a living then you're screwed. You have to, you have to find another job or, or something, um, which is why a lot of people diversify their earnings on YouTube. You see a lot of people selling t-shirts. You see a lot of people with um, brand deals. That's been, that's been big lately. With the, when the CPMs tanked and everyone started getting paid a lot less, uh, brand deals went up significantly. And that, that's why. You see all of them in the video. They're like, oh, we're... Uh, if you like this video, go check out uh, audible.com or something. That's a brand deal. Um, so basically, uh, the advertiser is paying for 30 seconds or 10 seconds of your actual video, not on top of it like the ad would be paying. Um, the fourth good thing is that people absolutely hate advertisements. It reminds me of the movie Idiocracy, where everyone has these huge, like, 200 inch TVs, but the only part that you get to see is this little bit here in the center because the whole outside is all ads. Um, people hate ads. And so if you hate ads, this will be great for you because you don't have to watch ads anymore. So, and then the, the other good thing is it rewards the channels with a loyal fan base. And one of the things that kind of tells you if you're doing well on YouTube is how many people come back regularly to your channel. If you're making good content, and it rewards channels with great content too, not just loyal fan bases. If you're making great content and a loyal fan base, I'm not shooting myself in the head, I promise. Um, and people are coming back, then great, you're gonna get more of that slice of pie. And so it rewards you for basically doing good work. So that's another good thing. Let's talk a few, a uh, little bit about the bad things that I foresee. So the first thing is we don't know the numbers yet. So obviously people might be getting paid a whole lot less. It could be that, uh, you know, like I said, if you watch 99% of another channel, but you watch all of my videos, just the people who pump out videos every day, if you watch like, I, I like Northern Lion does like three or four or five, six a day or something. If you watch all of his videos and mine, I'll be getting paid this much and he'll be getting paid this much. And that's not saying that either one is less entertaining, although I'm pretty sure mine's less entertaining. But just because you watch them more, uh, you, you, you know, people might get, get, be getting paid less. And so the people who do this full time now have a smaller amount 
of that pie and may not be able to do this full time anymore. I see a lot of people going to other other things, maybe getting their own website and paying for their own website to do this kind of stuff. I could definitely see that going on as well. Um, smaller YouTubers could get screwed. Uh, like we said before, if you watch big YouTubers this much of the time and you watch one or two of our videos where we might have gotten, you know, quite a bit of ad revenue from those one or two monetized views, depending on if it was the 30 second one or not or whatever, now we might get a cent or something, which, um, so if you're smaller, you might get getting screwed. But if you think about it, that's kind of the way it should work. It's hard, it's, it's really hard to say that. But here's the thing, the big channels are bringing in lots more views. They're getting lots more ad revenue and putting out more content than smaller channels. Therefore, they're getting rewarded for their hard work. So although the smaller YouTubers could get screwed, um, it's not anything kind of different than the system is now. It could be worse though, I'm not quite sure. Um, and the final thing is, if you don't accept the terms, your videos get privated. So they're gonna be updating their terms soon. I'm not quite sure, I think around June or something. And if you don't agree to this new program, all of your videos go away. They don't get deleted, they get privated, which means that you have to invite people to watch them, every single one. So it's almost like your videos aren't there at all. So it's pretty much, if, if you don't like it, well, screw you. Um, that's, that's pretty much it. So I, I did wanna talk about one other thing. I have been talking to a lot of people on Reddit. Uh, they are very adamant about how much they hate ads. Um, and so they're at the point to where like ad block is, is great because you know, I don't care if you're not making money because I hate ads and if I hate ads, I shouldn't have to watch them and you're, and you're kind of right. But at the same time, you're, you're refusing revenues to the people who made those that could be their full-time job. We talked about this already, but the analogy I want to give is if you go to I don't, I don't know, if you go to a, a carnival or something and you have to buy tickets to get on a roller coaster and you're like, oh man, I hate giving money to people and I hate waiting in lines. So why don't I just hop the fence and get onto the roller coaster and ride it because then I don't have to wait in line and I don't have to give away money. And you know, if you tried doing that, you'd get kicked out of, of the carnival for skipping and you know stealing basically i'm not saying people with ad block are stealing that's just my analogy is people like i shouldn't have to watch ads because i don't want to but at the same time you're basically taking away ad revenue from those content creators so what they say is they say they want two different types of systems one is a donation based system like patreon patreon is something where if you sign up for it People can donate X amount a month and they get kind of different tiers of perks depending on how much they donate. And using that money, um, you can fund yourself. So it's it's a, a fan-based donation subscription type service. The second one that they want is a subscription-based service like Netflix, which is pretty much what we're getting here. So most of them have said, you know, I don't mind getting rid of ad block and helping you guys out if we have one or two, uh, one of those two types of services. But we already have the first one because YouTube came out with a tip jar and the tip jar is a donation based type thing. Oh, if you like my videos, think about leaving me a tip in my tip jar type thing. So that's already implemented in YouTube itself. And from what I've seen, nobody's been using it. And the second one is the service we're going to be getting here in a couple of months. They didn't specify when. So it'll be interesting to see if the people with Adblock out there who said that they would get rid of it and help fund people will get rid of it. My guess is gonna be no, because they'd actually have to put down money for either one of those. And my guess is they're not gonna do that. So we'll see if they live up to the word on that. So, um, Will this be good? Will this be bad? Honestly, I could say it will go either way. For me, I'm not worried about it because this isn't my full-time job. This is a really fun hobby and doing stuff that I really like to do. Now, could it be bad for people who do this full-time? Sure, it could be. I could see people getting out of YouTube 
Um, and that would be a bummer because there's a lot of really great content creators out there that could be hurt by this. On the flip side, people could be making more. It's really, really hard to say until it happens. So I just wanted to leave you with one more thing. I'm wearing one of my favorite t-shirts today. I just wanted to show you this. Isn't this t-shirt awesome? Look, it's got a unicorn. Where is it? Unicorn. And it's pooping Lucky Charms marshmallows onto really, really happy people on some really happy hills. The hills have eyes. Um, and they're like, yay, marshmallows. Um, anyways, I just wanted to end the video with something kind of fun. That's all I have to say. Let me know what you guys think down below. Obviously, if you're a content creator and this will be uh, affecting you, definitely leave a comment. I want to see what your thought is on this. And if you stuck to this point in the video and you're not a content creator and you just want to learn more about YouTube, I hope I could have been a little bit more informative so you guys can kind of understand the behind the scenes kind of stuff because you see a lot of the the play aspect, but there's a lot of behind the, the behind the scenes stuff that goes on as well. That is all I had to say. Thank you guys very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.